join me on a, a journey. Put on your best dressing gown. <laughs> oh, God. Everybody, and welcome to Everest VR. Let's jump straight in. I grew a beard, especially for this video. Press any button to start. We're in a snow. Oh, we got mittens. It's the Unreal Engine. Okay. Brr. So off we go. This is available on Oculus Home. Ooh. We've arrived. We have Everest VR. Base camp. Look at this. I can see for miles. <laughs> God mode. This is absolutely stunningly beautiful. Okay, let's start at the base camp. We don't start at the top, like. So here we are. Welcome to Everest in, VR. In the Matrix. Before we can start our journey, we need to go through the basics. Oakley, Oakley, skip. Turning. Lovely. We teleport. Lovely. <laughs> so far, so far, so good. Progress to the next challenge. Keep looking and wave. Come on. What wave of my oven mitt? Now, let's start our journey. You coming with? I hope you're all coming with. <laughs> I'm not sure too many of us have climbed Everest. Maybe you have. <laughs> I don't know. Let's start at base camp. Altitude 5,330. She has many names. To some, she is Sagamartha, the goddess of the sky. To others, she is the apex experience, awe inspiring, unforgiving, the pinnacle of human achievement. We know her as Everest. Just have to get up there. To conquer her will require patience and endurance. Okay. Though the final ascent to the top of Everest only takes 24 hours, summiting takes weeks of adjusting to the extreme. Your journey begins at base camp, the central point for all organization and logistics. There, you must pay your respects to the mountain gods. At the start of every season, the Sherpas hold a puja ceremony to bless the expeditions, the equipment, and the climbers by offering food and burning incense. During the ceremony, if a crow lands on the pole at the altar, it bodes well for you and all those who will be climbing the mountain. Okay, let's hope a crow lands at the old altar. No, I'm not one for superstitions. Like, what if a black cat is on the altar as well? <laughs> Sorry. Did I say I grew a beard especially for this? <laughs> oh, whoa. We're here at the beginning. Where all things start. <sighs> Got an altar. Got some apples. It's a crow, we call a crow down. Whoa. What did I do? Hey, man.
Well, we have been blessed. Thank you, Mr. Crow. Yes, <laughs> a couple of beers here, mate. <laughs> Shh. Put these on. That's it. That's the other one. That actually went on my head, I think. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. Do a shotgun one. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Litter, you lift, don't you lift, don't you leave that there, mate. Where are we going? Where we're going to the... Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh, wow. Hey, man. Let's go. Let's go up. Wow. <laughs> Hell of a start. Where are we going? Kumbu Ice. Ooh. Your ascent begins on the Kumbu Ice Hall. A tumbling field of ice that guards the entrance to the Valley of Silence. Quick libation. The great Western Queen. <sighs> Prone to avalanches, its topography ever changing, it would be impossible to traverse without the Sherpa. With a new route each season, Need the Sherpas, the Sherpas must <laughs> also account for the constant motion of the glacier each day. Wow. For many climbers, this perilous crossing is the mountain's most daunting trial. On the 18th of April 2014, Kumbu Icefall claimed the lives of 16 Sherpas who perished in an avalanche that engulfed them on the glacier. Wow. I think you're stuck, aren't you? If something happens to you here, you're stuck, so let's. Let's be careful out there, boys and girls. We'll get to the top of this. Big mountain. Whoa. <laughs> the ascenders and lean forward slightly. The ladder is going to wobble a bit. But it's secure. Trust me. Trust you, dude. Wow. Yes, I am taking my time. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> um, because this is fantastic. Wow. I'm coming now, though. Like. <laughs> oh. So, made it, mate. That was great. Wow. Cheers. Are we mittens? Thanks, man. Uh, is this it? Are we there? Wow, that was really good. Climb the old rickety ladder, eh? Okay. I'm starting to feel cold. Ooh. I'm holding on tight. Oh. That doesn't look at all safe. It's creaking. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. What? Huh? That was close, like. Whoop. Whoop. Wow, and we're at the top, and that's it, everybody. We're there. <laughs> wow. Hey, man. Take a look at that view. Okay. Stand beside me, old mate. Here, hey, dude. When you are ready to leave. 
And a wee tick coming now, man, coming now. Wow. Just taking it in. Hold that. Hey. Hey, mate. Fresh air, eh? I suppose you haven't got any. Nah. No, I suppose not. Why Why would you like? <laughs> oh, we have a face. Oh, go and see this fella. Hey, dude. What's happening? Let me know when you are ready to leave. I am ready to leave. Mr. Mittens is ready to go. Wow, this is spectacularly good. My God, I wrapped up warm for this one. Okay, the the whole. Once you scale right. the ice wall, you reach Camp One. Mm. From there, you must make a long trek to Camp Two, which is situated in the upper section of the valley. Towering ahead of you is the next major obstacle. A formidable wall known as Lotse Face. That's how you This say. is the steepest vertical ascent of your trek. Over a thousand meters of hard blue ice where the slightest misstep can be fatal. Midway up, you spend the night at Camp 3, where tents are nestled on small ledges hewn into the icy slope. Wow, look at this. There's our hotel. For this arduous climb is to reach Camp 4 at the South Col, which lies on the boundary of Nepal and Tibet. Wow, well, there's not much to say about that. Gandalf? <laughs> there, you will prepare for the final push. The summit is now within your grasp. It still looks impossible, but hey. <laughs> oh. You're still there? We're still there. We're still good. What is next? Whoa! I actually have to do some work. Hi, man. Man, you're out of puff. Take it easy. Take it easy, dude. Well, that's. This is nuts. This is some crazy. Oh. 
we'll worry about these two guys behind us like They're some oxygen oh, who, who the hell's throwing throwing stuff <laughs> oh, no. oh there's nothing we need in that wait my my skins Right. Keep going. Huh. 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 This is all for the love of VR. That's like, oh. yeah. If it keeps up, I'm gonna have to take my dressing going off. Like, it's getting hot in here. Whoa, uh whoa. -oh. Uh -oh. That's what I said. Storm, but yeah. Keep on going. Uh It's like Batman training right here. Uh, Whoa. Steady. Whoa! So you got a bit of snow in my eye there. Oh my God! What? Jesus, did we make it? I've got my mittens on, I'm out of breath. Whoa, there's something in the distance. Oh. The hell? Some kind of colony. Yeah. 
some kind of colony, all right. For an alien species. Hey guys. Whoa. My whole life for this moment. Well, we kind of hope the weather clears up tonight. Oh. This might be my final attempt. How many times have you been on Earth? I've been up on this mountain three times, never made it to the top. Three times? How far have you made it? Well, the furthest I got was just below the Hillary Step. What happened? We had to turn back. I needed to get my partner down. He's gotten very sick and was running out of oxygen. Is that right? Yeah, just barely. But the thing is, he also saved my life that day. Oh, yeah. Also, shortly after we turned back, the summit was hit by a massive storm that lasted for days on end. No one knew somebody that day. Mr. Red, we look for the blue test. Get inside and try to get to sleep. He's resting in the tent over there. If I were you, I'd do the same. You're going to need it. Hope again. Up there. <laughs> That's brilliant. I like it. Wow. Assuming we're going over to the blue tent. This is fantastic. Wow. Okay. There's a zipper. There's a zipper. Zip. Oh. <laughs> Where'd it go? Oh. Night. Zip. Just a slight bit of snow. So we're going up there in the middle of the night. Okay, some of the guys are up, guys and gals. Oh, I'm enjoying the hell out of this. I hope, I hope you're all still there, are you? <laughs> Hillary Stapp. Hillary Stapp. You leave camp in the middle of the night. Well. Your aim? To reach the summit in the late morning. That gives you just enough time to get back down without being exposed to extreme weather in the afternoon. At daybreak, you reach the south summit. From there, you can see the true summit of Everest. Halfway between the two summits lies the final challenge of your climb to the top. Oh no, the dodgy bit. The knife ridge provides narrow passage with a drop of thousands of meters on either side. Make it this far and you've reached the infamous rock face known as the Hillary Step. At this extreme altitude, you will need every bit of energy you can muster to keep going. The Hillary Step allows only the passage of one climber at a time. Having to accommodate a stream of climbers on their way up and weary climbers on their way down, it has claimed the lives of many. Their frozen remains along the path are a solemn reminder of the pearls of the death zone. Death zone? Okay. I'm try, step trying in. to avoid the death Just zone. Put one foot in front of the other. Okay. Coming, guys. Jeez. Secure the rope. Good job. Grab the ascenders.
The Ascenders. Take your time. It's a good name for them. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's all good. It's all good. Thanks you for put those there. That was handy. Ooh. It's actually quite warm up here. Hey man. I'm gonna wait on this dude. Come on, man. He's good, he's making it. Just let me know when you are ready to leave. In a minute, man. Wait on this fella. Woo! Oh, well, look. Look at this. Some crazy ass stuff happening here. Tell your mate to come on. Wow, I don't want to leave. This is fantastic. Holy sh... There's been loads of Irish men up here. This fella is actually coming, look. Yo! Come on. Throw a snowball. No, okay. We're going to see it. Hi. Mr. Yellow. This is, this is unusual. An unusual experience. I never thought I was going to do this today. The Everest Summit. The point of it all. Somehow, that wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. Yeah, in VR, easy. Whoa! You got to put a flag in it, hey fellas. You got to put a flag in it. Just look for any. Jumbo jets or anything, and it's <laughs> uh, crazy high. Crazy, crazy good. So here we are at the, the old pinnacle. We've got our flag that the hand lets us Everest, so it knows what it is. You see, you need to label it. <sighs> so, I claim this mountain in the name of virtual reality. May long, long may your matrix can hold together like, wow! Well, thanks very much for joining me, fellas, me, ladies, and what everybody. Climbing Mount Everest? And my answer what was the point? Speed? It's of no use. There is not the slightest prospect of any gain whatsoever. Oh, we may learn a little bit about the behavior of the human body at high altitudes. And possibly medical men may turn our observation to some account for the purposes of aviation. But otherwise, nothing will come of it. We shall not bring back a single bit of gold or silver, not a gem, nor any coal or iron. If you cannot understand that there is something in man which responds to the challenge of this mountain and goes out to meet it, 
that the struggle is the struggle of life itself, upward, forever upward, then you won't see why we go. What we get from this adventure is just sheer joy. And joy is, after all, the end of life. We do not live to eat and make money. We eat and make money to be able to live. That is what life means and what life is for. George Mallory. Come on, guys. You're missing this. <sighs> One, two, three, hop. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, as I say, thanks very much, everybody, for joining me on this. Enter God mode. Yes, it's photographs. There's all sorts of things you can do on Amadablam Umjits. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. That is uh, Everest we are. I'm glad you came on the journey with me. Uh, I'll catch you next time. Bye. -bye. Brrrr.